Hi everyone, so today I'm back with another DIY. Um, I'm just thinking about doing something with these straws that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. So if you want to know what I'm going to do with these straws, then just keep watching. The supplies that you're going to need are these straws, little glittered pumpkins, some styrofoam circles, your choice of ribbon, felt, and you're going to use glue and glitter, a glue gun, scissors, and let's see, at Hobby Lobby I also picked up some of these, um, it's like a, what is it, trim, like a rope trim, and I got it for $2. And it looks like this. And so, yeah, so let's get started with this tutorial. Here's my pumpkin. And with this pumpkin, I'm going to use this straw. So you're going to put glue right at the bottom in the center of your pumpkin. Excuse my nails. Oh my God, they're horrifying. They're terrible. I have to do my nails. Sorry. So we're going to put some glue right in the middle of your pumpkin. And again, this is styrofoam. These are styrofoam pumpkins. So low temperature glue gun. Then you're going to put your straw right in the middle. And then hold it down until it dries. See how it looks? Just like that. And then for ribbon, Let's see. I'm going to use some of this ribbon that I got at Walmart for, can you see it? For a dollar, I believe it was. Probably less, I think it was. I, I think it was less than that. But anyway, we're going to use that ribbon. And what we're going to do is we're pretty much going to do a bow. You're just going to grab your ribbon and do a little loop just like that. And then you can, if you have floral wire, you can kind of tie it together. I don't have any on me right now. So I'm just going to add a little dab of glue and glue it so it doesn't move on me. Being very careful not to burn your fingers. Okay, so see there it is, one, and then you're going to do the other side, like that, okay, and then you're going to glue it on the back, just like that, okay, so see there it is. Okay, so the next step now after you've glued your pumpkin to your straw, you're going to grab your, your ribbons that you already prepared. And you're going to go ahead and glue them right underneath your pumpkin. Right under there like that. See that? Sorry, Dodger's thirsty. He's drinking his water. Okay, so there you have that side. Now you can leave it like this if you want. If you want one. Or you can put the other one on the other side. So I think I'm going to put it on the other side as well. And then just go ahead and put it underneath your pumpkin. So see, there it looks like that. It's a little wand. It's pretty much, that's all you're doing, just little pumpkin wands. And it's up to you if you wanted to, um, say, add some more ribbon, whatever colors you want. So there's one. All right, everyone. So this is what they look like. So here's this one. And then here's this one. And I used some sheer ribbon on this one. And then this one I just left with one um, one style of ribbon is this black one 
So again, there's that one. And then this one is just two different colors. And um, the, the pumpkins, just in case you're wondering, these are the ones that my friend Christina gave me. And they come in a package. This is the brand. And I believe she said she picked them up at Joann's. But anyways, so this is one style of wands that I'm making. And I'm going to stick them in this thing here. Um, I picked this one up at Target in the dollar section. I believe it was, yeah, it was $1. And I picked it up um, a few months back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wands in here to display them. I'm going to put some of this ribbon that I picked up at Michael's. I'm going to wrap it around here with a bow. And then inside I'm just going to use some vase filler. You're not going to really see inside, so I'm just going to use this vase filler so they can stand up um, and they don't fall over, they don't topple over. Okay, so the next ornament is going to be with this styrofoam circle. So what I did was I used glitter. I already did this, so I'm going to show, tell you how I did it. Um, I grabbed some glue and I drew the design that I wanted on my styrofoam with the glue. Then once I did that, I went ahead and I put my glitter on the first one, which would be this, like a, this is from um, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. And I did it with purple glitter. I let that dry and then when that dried completely, I went ahead and I put the glue on the outside like a moon and then I put the yellow glitter on that and then I let it dry and then once they dried I put hairspray on them so there won't be too much fallout and then what I'm going to do in the front is this is why I got the felt so the felt is pretty much going to be the face of um, Jack Skellington right here so what I did was I was I drew the eye on a piece of paper and then I cut it out that way I know what size I need and how to cut it out. This is like a template. So I'm going to put it right there with felt. And then the mouth, I'm just going to draw it on because that's a little harder. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this eye that I already cut out, put it on my felt, and then I'm just going to cut out that. Okay, so I cut out the eyes and then I cut out the nose and that's what I have so far. So I have to glue them. And then these are just little leftover strips from me cutting the eyes. So I just cut them kind of similar to the, the way he has his, his nose there. And the mouth, that's going to be a little difficult. So let me think of something and then I'll be right back. Okay, so what I came up with was this. I'm not too happy with it, but it, it'll do, I guess, for now. Maybe I can come up with something else or maybe you can come up with something else. Um, but then, like I said, the back looks like this. Okay, so what I did was I picked up this ribbon. I picked up this ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I paid $2.99 for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, all the way around the, um, the circle around here, the styrofoam. And then I'm just going to glue it down. Okay, guys, so... This is the back, here's the side, and then here's the front. So I don't know, I'm thinking, I don't know if I should make this into like an ornament for my Halloween tree, or I bought these straws as well that reminded me of, of that, of the Tim Burton. And I don't know if I should just, oh, it's good, glue it on here like this. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's see. I think I might... Yeah, I think I'm going to glue it right there like that. See if it holds it. Okay, you guys, so this is the end result for my Jack Skellington. The back. And I ended up using two straws just to make it sturdy. But one would be just fine. So I also did this one. I used that um, cording that I bought at Hobby Lobby and I just went all the way around like a spiral all the way around and then I just put a little rhinestone at the end or I mean in the middle. I'm tired, it's late. And then the back is just glittered and then the 
straw that I used was that one black one with the pumpkin faces or jack-o'-lanterns and I also did this one and I had bought these skulls last year at um, Dollar Tree and I just glitterified it as you can see, see it's missing little glitter spots here and there but I just did a little bow on there and a little rhinestone and I used the same straw with the jack-o'-lanterns I don't know they're just little wands that I made just for display alright everyone this is the finished product they're not gonna stay in here I just put them in there just so they can stand up and I can look at them and I don't know I, I'll probably turn them into ornaments that I'm gonna put on my Halloween tree these wands I don't know where I'm gonna put them at but I really like them I think they came out good and I hope you like this and you add your own take to it as I always say and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys have a nice day bye